evicted from their village was just the last act of punishment they endured. When the accusation was first made, Colbert Shaga felt the misdirected threat of Sam. Tata, what happened to me is painful. I was beaten up, repeatedly beaten up. I sustained severe injuries on my face. One young man hit me here and this side. I was severely bleeding. Chaga questions the validity of how customer law was applied to them. All my belongings and my wife were thrown out of my homestead, forced out of the village. The headman asked all those that were saying we must leave the village to raise their hands. People raised their hands in favor of our expulsion. My wife and I, as well as my children, had to leave the village. I am now homeless. The family says the justice system has failed them. I really need a shelter. I need help only. But when it comes to court case, I am sorry we have had enough. I cannot afford to go to court and send up and down because even at court we are turned into laughing stock. I only need a house to stay. Traditional leaders say this kind of unfair treatment does not belong in society. They must adhere and respect uh, the constitutional rights and the rule of law. No individual has a right uh, to, to chase any individual where he wants to reside or want to stay or where he was born uh, to stay. So we're calling out on the traditional leaders if such decision was taken in a traditional uh, court uh, to say they must respect the rule of law. They must respect uh, uh, the constitutional rights. The government also wants traditional leaders to unite communities. We want to restore then the best of our values of humanity, of solidarity, as part of foundation to fight the scourge of gender-based violence and many other evils that are dominant in society. And unless traditional leaders play a leading role. Colbert Chaga and his family are still hoping for a favorable outcome. Kurule Gunyembe, SAPC News, Flagstaff.